So, I'm sitting here outside my house and uh, both of my Facebook accounts are currently suspended because I dared to enter a conversation in a group called Eugene Classifieds and it's a closed group um, of trolls. Apparently they were a group of admins that came from another page on Facebook and they were so ridiculously unfair and unadministrator-like that they had to go start their own where they could bully people. But anyway, I belonged to this group and I used to have some fun in it. Um, but I went and commented on a post, something to do with people being forced to uh, sell their property uh, here in Eugene so that uh, the local bus service can put in a speed busing service. But they're using eminent domain and forcing the person. And my simple uh, statement was, without private property rights, there is, there's no freedom. And I said, uh, local government listens to the people, the will of the people about as well as um, national government does, federal government. Well, the, one of the admins for the site comes in and uh, makes a snarky remark on it. And I've been adminning on the internet since it's been public. BBS boards and different chat rooms and such. And uh, I know how to deal with trolls. But the problem is, is when you give a troll admin rights, he can then screw with you and use his powers unjustly. So uh, in the initial post, I reached a point where I'm like, okay, I'm done, have the final word, I'm out of here. Dude, caps part, he's so hungry for attention, he caps a place where I misspelled a word and creates a whole new post in this group to bash me. So I come back in and I'm like, whatever, whatever, you just proven my point, which it exactly did. And said, have the last word on this one too, I don't care. And then the admin dude, name of uh, David Pussy Whipped or David Whippoo or some shit like that, some retarded fucking name. Um, I could have blocked him at that point when he started tagging me over and over in this post, but I've dealt with trolls my whole life. I'm an administrator, a real administrator, one that has morals and, and looks for justice. And this guy, he's just got nothing. I mean, I was owning him left and right. He fucking left the conversation when I owned him on his tech skills, which are garbage. He makes his living as a tech, which is bullshit. Um, there's a there's a quote that he gave on his page where somebody was asking about a laptop that wouldn't boot and he went straight to oh well that's most likely the motherboard and that's more expensive to fix than it is to buy a new one let me hook you up with a new one that'll last so so he went straight to poor, not even trying to diagnose the problem. Because in reality, a bad battery can cause a laptop not to boot. And that's as simple as taking the battery out, plugging it in, and if it boots without the battery, unless it's a system that's dependent upon it, you can test it that way. But most often, and I've seen it many times, it'll just get in a brain lock and need to be taken out and put back on. Totally dishonest, totally bad tech, obviously. But anyway, I, I crushed his ego, so the next thing he did was have, I guess, one of his lackey friends, this Brad Morgan jackass, come in and start saying shit, and I owned his ass pretty just as easily, and that pissed them both off, of course, and this, this led to them basically sending threats to me, threats to my girlfriend, who had nothing to do with it, my fiancé, sending sexual messages, talking about coming and seeing her, which... If anybody knows me, they know how much they want to find me. So, <clears throat> I go to sleep, I get up, and there's a couple of broads that have started just tearing me a new one, bitching at me, I mean, calling, yeah, saying all kinds of nasty things about me. I've got no idea who the fuck they are. They have no context that I've been basically kept in this conversation and pushed for hours, no, no concept, but they're happy to come in and start bashing me. 
well, yeah, I was upset. Um, this group encourages a type of conversation that is not normal on Facebook. They encourage bullies. They encourage harsh talk. So I was a bit over the top in what I was saying, but I was simply responding to personal attacks against me. That led <clears throat> to fucking threats from guys, uh, some profile with this uh, Kevin Wharton, who... Uh, if it's really the guy, and I have proof that I, I think I can use. I mean, I know exactly which records to subpoena to prove all this stuff. I'm, I work for corporations. I've gone through all the background checks. I'm, I can deal with any authorities because I'm in the clean. So anyway, um, getting all kinds of serious threats from the the Horton guy. Um, he claims it's not him, but m he sent messages to my fiance. He sent messages to both of my sons, and my son responded just to the message that he was sent to the Kevin Horton account. Kevin P. Horton the next day contacts me and says, "Oh, you're you've made a profile, a fake profile of me, and I'm reporting you and this kind of stuff." I go over to his profile and I see him talking on his to his friends about getting this message from this kid and it describes exactly what my son said problem is got screen caps problem is my son only sent to he only responded to the message he was sent so if the real Kevin P Horton is not behind the Kevin Horton account how the fuck would he know what my son said bunch of lying I keep getting phone calls, so that's where the pauses come in. But, uh, yeah. And it's just been a nightmare. I've been trying to post all these threats so that their criminal behavior can be brought to light. And it gets my account blocked. So, I got three days where I can't touch my main account and I can't touch my other Facebook account for two days. These jackasses, I swear. And, and they're just a bunch of bullies. So, I'm going to be putting uh, the link to their group and what I suggest, or I would think is cool, don't don't take my word for it. Go in there for yourself. Um, add, and then go check it out. And if you see what I see, you see all the people getting abused, you see all the abuse. Um, I said some pretty nasty things to those ladies, absolutely. And uh, some, I think, were actually a little bit too much. But in the atmosphere, and after hours of getting attacked, what do you expect? Don't poke a stranger. So, that's the end of my rant. Thanks for listening. Have a good one.